This has to be the craziest thing I've ever seen. This is an odd start to a video. That is a furry Daytona spider, yes, and it is indeed on an ice lake. And that is only the beginning. That is because we're on an ice lake in St. Moritz, and this is the most St. Moritz event I've ever been to. And if you know what I mean by St. Moritz, I mean baller, effectively. Yeah, I can do it. And there's nothing you can do. Cause I just do it. You may be thinking it's wrong, but I don't let you. Currently on track, bear with me. 488 challenge car. Straight pipe F50. I need an F50 in my life. <laughs> yeah. With straight pipes. <laughs> F40. And an FF one-off modified for the owner's Labrador. You know me better than I do, so what we do, not it for you. Never thought I'd be saying this. I keep trying to update you because I think it's the craziest it's gonna be, and then it gets crazier. For example, three Paganis are about to go on the track. Three. Nuts. This has to be the craziest thing I've ever seen. Whoa, whoa, what's up? Hey, 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 hey. How are you? Yeah. This is no, this is no. Game over. Exactly. You ain't fresh. Right, so the reason we're here today is for GFG. GFG do not only make these cool beanies, but they've also made a very exciting car. We don't know anything about it, apart from the fact that it's about to be driven out of a tent right now. We're gonna see it for the first time. So we're gonna cue the music, see the car, and then give you a little bit of a walk around. I've really ever seen before. It's the first ever, the way they're marketing it, is as the first ever hyper SUV. So that means that this car, in theory, they're saying has the top speed of 250 kilometers an hour, but it'll do that anywhere. I think it looks pretty cool from the front, so they've tried to go for sort of a supercar look, as far as I can tell, but with the ride height, tires, and sort of ground clearance of a 4x4 that can go everywhere, hence hyper SUV. Now, it's two seats. Um, which means that you know it doesn't have the usual sort of four seat layout of an SUV But again that goes into it being the first it's creating this new category It's in this beautiful orange color and this being sort of an early prototype It's also got some really cool features like I don't know if you can tell here there are some cameras So no rear view mirrors and on the inside I'll show you that a little bit later You can actually see there's like a screen which will show you all around the car So they're saying around 500 horsepower that we don't really know yet because they haven't tested it out. We're like just under 400 kilowatts, they're saying over 600 Newton meters. So it's a pretty, you know, pretty hefty old thing, isn't it? But we don't know yet. I mean, they're saying around 3.5 to 60, but nothing's really been tested. So I don't want to bore you too much of the stats for now. We're just going to talk about the concept and the way it looks. From the back, uh, I'm not so sure. I think from the front, it looks really cool. From the back, um, yeah, I mean, you make your own mind up about it. But the story behind, you're probably like, Geogario, what is this? GFG, where's this come from? Well, without knowing it, you will have already seen some stuff these guys have designed because Geogario was voted designer of the century. 
Mr. Jugario, and he has designed some incredible cars. I mean, he was like, he designed the Gallardo. Um, you know, there's a whole debate on whether he designed the Mura to start with, like very, very legendary cars. And his son has now, Fabrizio, has sort of taken over and made this. So he's taken over the part and they are designers. So it's a car built by a designer, as you can tell. So there's some very, very funky stuff. I think it's awesome. We're gonna get a chance to hover in the car with Fabrizio now. So let's go do that. Bye bye. <laughs> I am now in the kangaroo. Fabrizio next to me. How Ciao, are you? first belt, first of all. Ah, uh, yes, first belt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. We got it? Yeah. Sweet. Okay. Thank you. And this interior is incredible. Look at this massive screen here. That you can adjust whatever you like. Oh, wow. Function that you want, the music, whatever. Very cool that you can adjust it, though. Yes. Oh, you and me, you can. We you can adjust it. Uh, okay, awesome. Yeah. Oh, wow. And then we've got this, which we this see on the air, back as well. This is the air conditioning. All, all the, the air comes from here and from top. Oh, very cool. So you have a distribution of, of, of climatization. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, very nice. And this steering wheel is extremely yeah, futuristic. It's like an aircraft because using a lot the autonomous driving and also the parking is automatic. At the end, you don't need here. Yeah, it's true. So you have a good visibility. Here are the <laughs> monitors that show you what is around the car. Which is we, awesome. Chiudiamo pure la porta. So the first thing you see after the road that you of course still have to look yeah. is the camera that show you what is in the back of the car on the side of the car. So okay, yeah. moving your head, you have the perception what's going on. Right there, so you don't have a rear view mirror, it's but everything is right there. The first thing you see is exactly the back of the car on the side without moving. Oh, awesome. And then the instrument, the instrument at the end in electric vehicle show just the speed and the range. That's it. Yeah. You don't need anything else. Yeah. Anything else. Ah, awesome. And Very then cool. Any function of, of gear, suspension, uh, lights, etc. Yeah. yeah. But drive uh, mode yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. It's very nice in here. Congratulations. <laughs> Today is a big day. Trousers, so it's a special Italian oh, wow. fashion. Oh, God, it is, isn't it? it? Is, it's not painted. It's, uh, it's, and also the speaker are uh, here. And you don't see the typical line of speaker. The, the oh, they're behind. Speaker. Yes, yes, yes. Because this, this uh, fabric transmitted. The, uh, <laughs> That's okay. a very nice touch. Okay, let's if do it. If you want, we can go. Let's do it. Oh, this is awesome. So because I cannot make risk, I have only one car. Yeah. I have to display to Geneva next days. I'm not going to make crazy maneuvers. Oh, so for sure. For sure. I'm doing just a little to show you how fun is this car. Yeah, it but seems crazy. Because we have to use very quiet before the exhibition. Yeah, well, I mean, it's literally being displayed at Geneva in no vlog <laughs> at all. The very See the acceleration? Yeah, it goes. And for we a car spinning. on ice. No oh, spinning. spinning. And that's why you put it. I mean, it's a great concept. The first hyper SUV. Two seater vehicle. Yeah. Two seater vehicle because, you know, sports SUVs have been so popular. People clearly like them. It's a formula which works. So, hyper SUVs, I was describing this guy as a real car for the future because it's taken a concept of the present, the sports SUV, taken it to an extent and used electric mobility on that. So, it's taken it all to the next level. So I'm in the kangaroo now and I can show you a better view of what we were talking about earlier in the car. Sorry about the noise here yeah, in the background you may hear. I'll try and wait till they finish. So they've stopped. Now I am in the driver's seat. So here's where you can see this crazy steering wheel which kind of gets cut off there and very sort of spaceship like and this really funky shape down bottom which is actually quite cool oh this guy's still talking the massive screen which as you saw goes up and down 
very simplistic interior, very cool cup holders right here actually. It's a, quite a funky design. This full really, these seats are so nice I find. Now what I find actually really cool, what I really like, you're gonna see a lot of reflection, now they're working on that. But are these, so your wing mirrors for example, they're just little cameras that get linked up down here. It looks really cool and then your rear view is that, so you've got no mirrors in the inside of the cars. These control the doors, these buttons, um, so electric doors. Look at that massive strut. It's just pretty cool. Simplistic and futuristic interior. It's been a good day. It's been a very, very good day here. My first time in St. Moritz. And what an unbelievable thing. The first electric hyper SUV. And man, what a car. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, all that jazz. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Get up today. Get up for tomorrow. Let's go.